So welcome, welcome to the next section and in this section we are going to talk about or we are going to still learn about how to model the wheel and the other parts of what we are planning to do. So previous section I forgot to apply appearance to this face so let me just do that as fast as I can. Apply to this. Okay, so we are now done with everything related to the wheel. So in the next section as I said we will be using the multi-body part modeling technique to just make sure you are in the right plane as i said orientation really matters so right click on the front plane click on sketch so we are now active in the front plane obviously i'll start by sketching the profile so you move on to because the sketch is active you just click on line in the sketch tab on the command manager and just start from there so i just make sure it's coincident my line is co the point is coincident with the one on the on the wheel so basically to make it coincident and because i was okay let me just do that again so line coincident and just Make sure it's horizontal so after that i wanted to still be in the line command without exiting from the line command and going back to the uh, command manager the sketch tab and then click on line again so i just double click and still be in the line command just that to terminate the line i've created over here and continue from it start from a different section so you still pay attention to your relations you just come back to that and add dimensions to it so obviously I'll just start by sketching the profile and dimensioning it as I've already started. So smart dimension, dimension from here to here to be five millimeters. From here to here should be one point five. Here to here should be one point eight. Eight point five from here to here. Because it's not fully defined, I can just drag it up there to the way I want it to be and zoom in on that. From here to here should be 3.8. This point to this point should be 3.8. Um, so sorry, sorry, sorry. So 3.8 is rather from here to here. 3.8. And also from here to here should be 1.5. So yes, because I have 1.5 already measured, I can let me just do that again. So I've just deleted the dimension by just selecting the dimension and hitting delete on my keyboard. So smart dimension, select this. And because I already have 1.5, if I don't want to type it, I can just click on the dimension and check it. I'm done with the dimension. Yes. And this dimension from here to here is 105. That's fine. So I'm done with that. Yes, yeah, so even with this, I can just make sure. So I'm going to use for construction and make sure it's this way and just add a relation. Make sure this is vertical and I'm done. So as we already know, with the mirror command, we can just select everything with our center line and just hit mirror, and everything will be mirrored. We add a fillet, a fillet radius of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Use box select to select everything. Just click yes, 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 and everything is done the way we expect it to be. Extrude. Specify the extrude parameter. I'm using mid plane so blind is basically from one side it will just move in a particular direction you specify it and mid plane will just be like a mirror the sketch plane will be like a mirror plane uh yeah and just share the magnitude side by side so because we are using a multi-body part modeling technique i'm going to uncheck merge resource so that we have separate bodies and we can later save them and assemble them together 
we just check that and everything is done back to control plus one click on the front plane and click on right click on the front plane and click on or click on the front plane and click on sketch obviously we start by sketching our profile i'll do that as fast as i can so from here a little bit down Blam, 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 blam. okay and this make sure this is horizontal con and constructional make sure this is aligned with this the points are aligned dimension from this point to this sketch and it should be 47.69.69 enter and let me add a relation so from here to here should be collinear if use collinear a lot and from here to here should be 3.5 3.5 this side this edge to this edge should be 10 sorry i don't need an angle so to this point should be 10 yep and dimension from here to here should be 5 6.9 because it's not fully defined i can just drag this anywhere i want it to be just dimension from here to here to five sorry 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 from here to here specify the angle instead to be 150 and i'm almost done just i need to specify this dimension to be 37.1 37.1 and make sure this line is Collinear with this line. Yeah, so now everything is fully defined. So I just have to select everything in this sketch and hit mirror, and I'm done. Yeah, so there's some. Um, uh, uneven behavior, and I've corrected that so. It was undefined, it was blue, and I just added a relation. Let me just do that again. So it's underdefined, and because of just this blue, I just made sure this and this are linear. And everything is fine. Because I use mirror, it will just correct over here. Too. So just apply an extrude feature, which is 16, still using the mid plane. Control 7 to switch to isometric view. You make sure you click on the surface or oh sorry on the graphic area zoom in and it's the way i want it so still using the mid plane and it's done sorry 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 so because you are using the multi-body part modeling technique we'll make sure you uncheck this and check result merge result and everything is fine so now let's save the bodies as fast as we can yes so the first body we have to save would be obviously the real so you can come to the search command button here and search for save bodies all right save bodies gadgets and you just click on it to open the feature for you because i'm in solid waste 2025 you can also use just the, the shortcut keys s then you just search for save bodies so with this one i don't have to move my mouse button here or better still if you are not you don't want to use any of these you can just come to insects features and save bodies is here for you yep so before you use the save body features you make sure you save this part if it's not saved it you won't be able to apply it so we have three bodies and that's what i was expecting so the first one i'll be saving will obviously be this so you can click on it here right so it will give it this name, but that's not the name I want to save it with. So I want to use a name. I want to name it real, real underscore one because I have a real um already on my PC. So I have to distinguish between them. So save it, 
and you make sure you check this i don't want it to still be in this part so i just check cut so you just let me hit the save and just hit cut consume cut bodies let me save this one to and this time you will be my alice save this to and make sure everything will be cut and let's just check this feature yes it's asking about the templates yes obviously we did a default or the templates are used for the modeling of the big parts yeah, so currently everything is saved and we now have just this but we've modeled all what we want so i just hit ctrl plus s to save it and one thing i like doing is to organize myself i like organizing myself so instead of using just boss extruder i just rename it i rename three items to will so that anytime i come into this software i'll know that oh that was the feature i used to model the will and I'll change this name also. So you can do same. And currently these parts are open. So shortcut to check recent open document is control plus star. So I switch to the balance. I'll be working on this and this is the next one. So I'm just using control tab to just move through the recent open document. Yeah, so now let's work on this we have job to do over here so the first thing is i want to create replications replicas of these of this part yeah, so i just come to this document it's already saved hit on linear pattern just click that and hit direction or select any edge that is moving in a direction of preference and the feature will obviously be this sorry it won't be a feature it will be a body so obviously will be this and i'll specify the number i want 45 yes 45 and its number should be the distance between it should be 50 so this is it now i'm done with one side yeah so because i'm in solid in 25 you can just click on symmetric to make it one at this side one at this side but if you don't have access to that you can just use direction two and the same approach you just click on the other edge to specify the direction and input the number and everything will be find out yeah, so it's just created replicas so now let me add the appearance as fast as i can this time will be appearance um stone 